Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to plot multiple series on a single plot. Now this comes up a lot in math classes obviously, in stats classes, as well as economics and other type of business math classes. Okay, so we have over here in our sample data set we have an X column and we have multiple Y columns. Now the X is in common with all these Y's but these Y's are each should each represent either s separate uh, markers or what we're going to do separate lines okay separate series as Excel in Excel's language okay so we expect a plot that has four distinct lines and we'll use different colors for each line for each line and a legend to be able to find out which line is which. So let's just jump right into it. We'll go to insert, scatter, and we'll choose scatter with smooth lines. Okay, and Excel already picked some stuff up and made some suggestions. But we're gonna select data and remove all these series. I'm gonna teach you how to do it from scratch, okay? So we start with a blank slate, a blank plot, chart area. We go over to design tab on the chart tools and we click on select data. Okay? This is how we build our chart and we know it's right. Okay? So first we add a series. The name of the series, we'll click, we'll do Y1 first. X values will always be these this X column not including the header and the Y values you gotta delete that first don't try to overwrite that you'll see what happens highlight the Y1 column without the header and you see we're already getting a plot here that's the plot of one series which we've learned in other Excel videos that I've done but now we want to add Y2, Y3 and Y4 so we go back here and we say add now we add Y2 X values again are the X values Y values, delete those, take the Y2 values. And we've added Y2 is the red line, it's a straight line because all its values are the same, 30. We add Y3 now, the name is Y3, the X values are the same, and the Y values are the values under the header Y3. And finally, add series name y4 same x values same y values and we're done and we also have a legend created for us and we can go to layout and add a title if we like right depending on what it is you're talking about the important thing here is even though this looks exactly like the the chart that excel created for us instantly it's not always going to be the case. In fact, I've been I've tutored a lot of people where Excel makes some wacky suggestion and produces some wacky series. It's not because Excel is not smart. It's just that when you're dealing with multiple series, unless your data is very well organized, like I've created here, Excel is gonna not going to know which is your Y's, which is your X's, how you're separating your X's and Y's it's better to have full control and full understanding of what's going on so that even if Excel does suggest the right thing you know how to check and you know what and you know uh, where to go in design select data to see that everything was properly taken you could go to edit and you could see you can verify that everything was correct okay so it's better to build up a good foundation first and then be able to uh, rely on Excel to help you out a little than to just rely on Excel and not know for sure if it's producing the right values for you, the, re the right results. And that goes with everything in Excel. So build a good foundation and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click on the top left of this video where I have over a hundred Excel videos, access videos, PowerPoint, math, statistics, R, and other computer trick tutorials. Okay, so till next time, thanks for watching. Click on our sponsors' ads, that's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. And have a great day, thanks.